Welcome to Speak Life. Today um, I want to do a warfare prayer. I feel like I haven't done that in a while, but I think it is necessary for such a time like this to pick it back up and understand that we are in a spiritual warfare, that we do not wrestle flesh and blood. So I just pray that this prayer will bless you. Let's send the enemy to flight in Jesus' name. So if you just repeat this prayer after me. Father in heaven, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus because I have been invited to come boldly before your throne room of grace to find mercy and grace to help in time of need. I resist the oppression that has come against me and my house and my spouse and my marriage and I lift up a shout of praise. I glorify you and your majesty and declare that there is no one like you. The name of Jesus is the name above every name, at whose name every knee must bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. I declare that all evil agents must bow to the knee at the mention of his name. I release chariots of God into the midst of the enemy encampments and fronts mounted against my life, against my marriage, against my spouse, against my family, my business, my children, my health, my calling in the name of Jesus. I declare that the forces of darkness must be cut down. I smite evil agents with madness, blindness, and confusion of heart. I declare that evil forces will loathe the day they receive assignments against me. For I choose to stand in my identity as a child of the Most High God. May the broom of destruction sweep up all of the defilement that the enemy has planted against my life, including his agents and constructs. I arm the hosts of heaven with light based weaponry that hyper focuses the light of Jesus upon their targets. Go and punish the hosts of evil. I speak that the breath of God strikes the enemy coming in and going out. I declare that evil spirits that are apprehended are force-fed the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction. I declare that they are smitten with boils and that they are pierced through with daggers. I speak that there will remain no safe place for the enemies that take up arms against me. The pursuers will become the pursued as the vengeance of God is engaged on my behalf. I speak that my testimony of injustice is beheld in the courts of heaven and becomes the evidence that unleashes the wrath of God upon this, upon his enemies that destroy my life and the lives of those he loves. At his wrath, the earth will tremble and the nations will not be able to endure his indignation. I declare 
that all of the areas of my life that are under attack are being retuned and harmonized to the frequency of the voice of the Most High down to the very genetics that compose my person. I receive winds of refreshing and condemn the evil powers that mount themselves against me to the burning wind. I declare that all of their path, highways, wormholes, portals, and stargates are rigid with snares, trip wires, and booby traps that are linked to devastation, glory, bounds. I speak that your angels surround me round about, above and below, and against every dimension access point in Jesus' name. I thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus by which I cover every component of my life, my marriage, my husband, my family, my business, my children, my ministry, my health and destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I pray this has blessed you. I pray that you will share your testimony down in the comment section. That's pretty much it. Be blessed. Amen.